boy Big AG back at it. Man, I've been working on the picture of this video. Hopefully you guys think this is the best picture so far now with this new camera. I hope. I'm trying to tweak it. It looks pretty good to me so far. So, today we're going to do a can of corn. Yep, you know, a baseball term, a can of corn. A simple, easy, fly ball, automatic out. We're doing that today. We want a can of corn and craps. We just want it easy peasy. And I'm gonna, we're going to do the math and let's see if we can execute. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to be off on the come out roll. I'm going to do 10 units inside. We're going to do 10 units inside. Now, for a seven, right? We have six ways to lose. We have five, one, one, five. <laughs> you idiot. Five, two, five, two, three, four, four, three, six, one, one, six. Six ways we can lose. Now, how are we going to win? Well, on a five, you can win four, one, one, four, two, three, three, two. On a six, of course, you can win one five, five one, four two, two four, three three. On an eight, of course, you can win two six, six two, three five, five three, four four. And on a nine, of course, you can win six three. Three, six, four, five, five, four. Now, let's do the math real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six ways to lose. Okay? We could win. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen ways. If I do the math, that's twenty-four, right? Six out of twenty-four, four times. We have a 1 in 4 chance to lose. We should win 75% of the time. Now, should is a strong word. Should win 75% of the time. Mathematically, on one roll. Now, let's see if we can do it. I'm going to call this the can of corn. We're looking for something easy peasy. We're off on the come out roll. Here we go. 10 easy. So, points 10. Okay, now we're playing. We're just looking for one roll and collect. We're just looking for one roll, baby. Ace deuce. One roll and collect. That's all we want. There's an ace. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Why? Because it paid me $70. And I'm done. Yep. We're just gonna, what I'm going to do is just turn everything off. We're going to take our $70. Thank you very much. We're off now. And we're going to play it out until we get a big red. There's the big red. Perfect timing. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. And we're going to reset. Wow. Good timing on that one. Now, it's a can of corn. All you got to do is hit one of your numbers before seven. That's all you got to do. Come on, roll. Eight. Eight's the point. Okay. Now, once the point's established, now we're going to turn everything on. I'm still playing the eight. It doesn't matter if it's the point or not. We're not playing the pass line. We're not playing the don't pass. Can of corn, baby. All we got to do is hit one number. Oh. Yeah. As easy as a can of corn. Yeah, right. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, now. All I'm going to do is hit one number. That's it. Okay, we're back up. Ten units inside. Ten units, each number inside. All we got to do is hit it once. We're off on the come out roll. Off. Eight's the point. All we got to do is hit it once. This is it. 
Can of corn, four. Four easy. There's a six. We did it this time. That's going to pay us 70. Now remember, we should execute it 75% of the time. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Now we're going to just turn everything off. Take our 70. We're going to bank it. Now, you got to win 75% of the time. Because if you don't, you're screwed. Mathematically speaking, you're screwed. We're off now. Because I'm going to lose, think about it, 100, 200. We lose 220. Okay? So if I lose 220 once every four rolls, okay, that's fine. Lose 220. But I won 70, win 70, win 70. That's why craps is such a mathematical phenomenon. Whoever invented this way in the day has excellent mathematical ability and skills because there's just mathematically no way to get an advantage. So if we win three times out of four, I'm going to make 210, 70, 70, 70, right? That's 210. But if I lose just once out of those four, I lose 220. So, for us to turn a profit, you must execute more than 75% of the time at can of corn. More than 75%. You probably have to execute at 77% just to break even. That's nuts, isn't it? I'm just saying. Okay. We're off until we roll it out. Oh, I took it off. I didn't mean to take it off. Uh, I think the point was 8, I believe. We're going to just roll it out. There's the 7. Wow. Again, we turned it off just in time. We got lucky again. Okay. So, we're off. We're going to reset. Okay. Come out, roll. We're off. 9. So, we're working now. Everything here is working. Our inside numbers are working. Can of corn. Again, probability is 75%. Probability is not good enough, not good enough for us to turn a profit. Mathematically, 75% is not going to get the job done. So, we got a four easy. We got a 10 easy. We got a 9. Of course, we hit the point of 9. But that's good for us because we've got a $70 winner. $70 winner. And now we're off. We're going to turn everything off because it's now the come out roll. Now, mathematically, mathematically, so far, we've had three opportunities. Three opportunities for a can of corn. We've executed two out of those three times. We won seventy dollars. Two out of three times, we won seventy each time. We made one forty, but we lost once. Loser, one out of three, and we lost two twenty. So we got to win one more time to hit probability three out of four, and that's going to turn a ten dollar loss. We'll revisit that math here in just a minute. All right, let's do it. We're off on the come out. Eight, easy eight. Okay. Here we go. Can of corn. All we got to do is hit one number. AC Ducey. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. There's a nine. Thank you very much, nine. We're going to have it for 50. Gonna pay me seven days. Beautiful. And we're down. Can of corn, baby. As easy as a can of corn. Woo! Now, man, good job, right? Sounds like we're just making money, but we're not. Just that one loss killed us. Because now we have now hit probability. That actually made 
I'm actually happy that that actually happened. That's too good. So, we've executed the can of corn three times for $210 profit. We lost one time out of four, which is exactly what probability was going to tell us what was going to happen. We lost 220. Yep, because we've got 220 across. Now, what does this strategy tell me? It tells me that over the long haul, they're going to get 5% of your money. Ten percent of the two twenty, right? Ten percent of two twenty. Ten percent is twenty two dollars. But we're losing ten dollars every time. So we're losing about five percent of our bankroll of the two twenty mathematically every cycle. Every new seven ounce, we lose five percent basically is what happening. That's what probability tells us. Now, can you sit there for, say, five series and execute four out of those five and make a profit? You betcha. Can you do it just one series, hit for 70 bucks and run out of the casino? Hell yeah, you could. But probability tells you you're going to win and execute that strategy three out of four days of the week. You go to the casino four days, you play one time, one shot, one can of corn, Three out of those four days, probability says you're going to win. But the one day you lose, you're going to lose 220. Three wins of 70 is 210. One day of losses, 220. You're going to lose $10 or 5% about of your bank, of your 220. All right, let's roll it out. We're going to try to turn a profit today, but you're... you're Going up against probability, and probability, we know, wins a lot of these battles. But we know dice are random, so you could win sometimes. There's an eight. There's a frontline winner. We're going to keep rolling it till we get a seven. We are totally off right now. I, I'm not playing until I get a seven. There's an eight. The point is eight. We got a nine. We're still off. Again, this is can of corn, baby. We're looking for an easy can of corn. There's a seven. That was a 13 roller. Okay, everything's off. We're off. Now. We've done four series, four shooters. We've executed three out of four. Okay, that's what probability says. No harm, no foul, really. You lost 10 bucks. This is our money maker. This one right here. We got to do it. Let's do it. Five is the point. Now, here we go. Can of corn, baby. All we got to do is hit one of our numbers before the big red. That's it. Can of corn. There it is. Can of corn. Woo! $70. I'm going to pay $70 for a nickel. Beautiful. Now, now we're off. Can of corn, baby. We're going to roll it out. We get a five. We get a frontline winner. Doesn't matter to us because we're not playing on dark side today for this can of corn, baby. We're not playing anything. We're off until a big red is rolled. We got a four is the point. Hard four is the point. We got a nine. We're going to roll it out. Can of corn. We're looking at it mathematically. The can of corn. Nice out. Hard six. We got a nine. We got a nine again. We got a seven. There's the seven. Now we're going to reset. That was a nine roller. 
Can of corn, baby. All right. Now, we executed this four out of five, which is 80%. We've executed 80%. which we are 280 in the profit, and we've lost 220. We've executed it 80%. At any time you execute above the probability line, probability is 75%. We're executing and we're beating the numbers. We're beating probability. We've executed four out of five times, 80%. So we're up $60 in our bankroll. Now, we've got to hang in there. Now, we could just run right now while we're up, but we're not going to do that because we're going to play this out with probability and see what's going on. All right. We're off on the come out. Doesn't matter. Off. There's a seven. Okay. We're off. Still off. There's an eight. Okay. Point is eight. Doesn't matter to us what the point is. Now we're just looking for a can of corn, baby. We're looking for that easy fly ball to center field. We can just coast under it, squeeze it with one hand, chuck it around. Can of corn. Let's go, baby. Boxcars. Can of corn. Let's do it. Let's do it. Nine, can of corn, we execute, nicely done, pays us $70, I'm going to pay $75 for a nickel, and we are turned off, take our $70, and we run back into the dugout from that can of corn, baby, so, probability, let's go back. We're now above 80% because we are now 5 out of 6 in our execution, which is about 83%. About. That gives us another 70. So now <clears throat> we're plus 350 and we've lost 220. Remember, the probability line is 75%. We are above that at 83 right now. We've executed five out of six can of corns, and we've lost one out of six. Now, probability tells us when we get to eight rolls, we're probably going to end up losing two. That's what probability says. We're trying to improve probability, which is hard to do. We all know. So we're going to go to eight rolls and see what happens. Okay? So far, we've executed very well five out of six rolls. So far. Okay, so we're turned off. We're going to roll it out until we get a seven. There's a frontline winner. Can of corn, baby. As easy as a can of corn. We're off, still off. We're just playing until we get a red. There we go. There we got a big red. Now, once we get a big red at any time, oh, there's no point right now, right? Okay, we got to wait for the point to be established. Yep, now we're going to get a point established. Because there was a big red, now we're going to get an 8 because the big red was also a come out. Now, we're going to play this. We're going to turn everything on. Let's see if we can beat probability. Let's go, baby. Can of corn, baby. There it is. Can of corn. Boom. Another frontline winner, by the way. But we'll take the $70. I'm going to pay $75 for a nickel. Thanks, everybody, for watching my videos. I do appreciate it. Now, with this new computer, this new camera, boom, we're ready to rock and roll, man. I'm ready to crank out these videos for you guys. Appreciate everybody. I really do. Now, let's go back to probability. Ah, why did you do that, you fool? Now, six out of seven, we've executed six out of seven times. We've lost one out of seven. We're now at about 86%. About. We've also got another plus 70. We've now made 420. 
in those six cans of corn, right, those six easy outs, we made 420. The one time where we dropped it, we made an error, we lost 220, okay? This is the big one. This next roll is the big one. Well, why is that big, AG? Because it's going to be eight rolls, okay? Eight rolls in. If we lose, we're going to be down 440. If we lose the next can of corn, we're down 440. We've only made 420. So we're going to have a losing session. Even though we've hit six out of seven so far, if we lose this next one, we lost the game. Yep. All right, let's do it. Can of corn, baby. Come on, baby. That was a frontline winner. So everything is now turned off. We executed. Everything is off until we see a big red. Point is nine. Of course, we're still off. There's big red. So, again, great timing. Smart to turn everything off. Can of corn, man. Mathematically looking at a can of corn. Now, we're off. So, we're going to have to wait for a new point to be established. Everything's off. Here we go. Eight. Eight's the point. Can of corn. This is a big one for us. This is a big one. Nine. A can of corn, baby. Sweet. Sweet corn. <laughs> Sweet, baby. Seventy bucks. Seventy-five for a nickel. Again, let's go back. Let's look. Now, that's big for us. That's huge for us because now we've executed seven out of eight times. We've executed at about 88%. Okay? Way above what probability says we were going to execute. We lost one out of eight times. We've lost 220 hours one time. But we've won seven times, $70, right? But we've lost one time, 280 So 490 in the positive, 220 in the negative. Right now we're up 270 bucks because we are above probability. If we were right at probability, if we were right at that 75% margin, we would be in the negative, folks. That's why craps gets you. Mathematically, craps is a very sound game. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All the different ways to try to tweak things, and yet, craps and the casino have a mathematical advantage over us. That's why I love the don't pass line after the come out, because you get even money. Great bet. Now, we're eight rolls in. We've executed that can of corn seven times. I'd like to roll it out to 12 just to see because at 12, that's a good probability it's telling us we should lose three times out of 12. So we're going to roll it out. I'm not going to stop now. We're going we're to roll it out uh, for another four sessions, okay? And let's see what happens. Here we go. Hey, frontline winner again. We got a frontline winner. I'm not even going to mark it. I'm not going to. Six. Six is the new point. We got an eight. I'm just going to mark the point. Doesn't really matter to us because we're off. Everything's been off. Eight. Point is six. I want to get it to 12 rolls. Okay, there's a seven. We're going to get it to 12 uh, series. Or 12 sessions of sevens, right? Seven shooters. Um, seven series, I should say. So everything's still off. We're going to just get a point, establish a point here. Eight. Point is eight. So this is our ninth opportunity for a can of corn. Okay, this is it right here, baby. Can of corn. AC Ducey. Let's do it. Ten. Come on, baby. 
Can of corn, baby. We're looking for a weak fly ball. Easy fly ball. Hard 10. Make us sweat a little bit, huh? Can of corn, baby. Let's go. Where's that can of corn? Hard 8. We got a winner again. Can of corn, baby. $70. 75 for a nickel. Can of corn. Winner. Now we turn everything off. Point is still 8. Oh, no, it's not eight. We just hit the point. But everything is off. We're waiting for big red. Aces on the come out. Yo. Still come out. Yo again. Still come out. Aces. Still the come out. <laughs> Man, if you were playing the horn here in this little series, nine. Nine's the point. We're still not playing it because we're waiting for a big red. Hard eight. We are nine series in. There's a nine front line winner. I shouldn't even be marking this. We should just roll it out. That's all right. Let's go. Can of corn, baby. There's our seven. Now, it is a come out roll, but it was a seven. So, now we're going to establish a point, and then we're going to play. There's 10. 10 easy is the point. Okay, we've executed a can of corn 8 out of 9 times. This is our 10th opportunity. Let's go, baby. Can of corn. We got a 6. We did it. We did it. Can of corn, baby. $70. I'll do $75 for a nickel. Okay, now... Beautiful. So we're off. Love it. Now, that's 10 opportunities. We are now 9 for 10. 6 again. AC Ducey. We want two more opportunities here. Two more opportunities. We got a five hot shooter. We got a hot shooter. Nine. We're going to keep everything off until we get a seven. We got an eight. There's the seven. That was a 22 roller because I didn't mark the last two rolls. Okay, come out roll. We're going to get a point established. Eight. Okay, now once the point is established, now we're working. Now, we are nine out of ten. We've executed a can of corn nine out of ten times. We're going to go up to 12 opportunities. Probability says we should execute that nine out of 12. We should lose or drop the can of corn. Make three errors, three out of 12. That's what probability says. If we land on probability, we're going to have a losing session. The only way we can have a winning session is if we execute it, the can of corn, 10, 11, or 12 out of 12 times. <clears throat> right now, we're 9 for 10. Okay, here we go. This is opportunity number 11. Can of corn, baby. Four, easy. Come on, baby. Hard four. All right, let's go. Can of corn. Let's go. Let's go. Six. We got it. Can of corn, baby. Another $70. I'll do $75 for a nickel. Now, we are 10 for 11, my friends. We've guaranteed profit. We've guaranteed profit in 12 sessions now, 12 rolls. We've guaranteed it. We got one more to do. We've done it 11 times now. I want to go to 12. There's the 7. Okay. Now, of course, everything is still off on the top. We're looking for one more can of corn, baby. One more. Let's do it. We're off on the come out. 6 is the point. 
Okay, this is it right here. Last inning. Last out, baby. Can of corn. Execute. No! Oh, we knew we were ahead of the curve. Oh, that's a tough one to swallow, huh? Yikes, the last one. Well, that's 10 cans of corn, 10 out of 12, which will turn us a profit. 10 out of 12. Ah! All right, let's look at the numbers now, mathematically. So mathematically, we've executed 10 for 12, right? That's what? Uh, 82% or so, give or take a few, which is better than probability. We are above probability. Probability says 75%. We are above probability, which is awesome. That's what we needed. We lost... 2 out of 12, which is, oh, I don't know, about 18%. Now, we've lost twice for $220, which is we lost 440 We won 10 times, 70 bucks every time we hit one of our box numbers. We collected $70. So we made $700. Now, overall, 700 minus 440 gives us a profit of $260, okay? We made $260 today. Now, if we would have landed on probability, we would have lost money. Yeah, because the craps, the casino, the table has a built-in house edge. When they keep talking about the house edge, the house advantage, that's what we're talking about. Let me just show you real quick. So we're up 260 today, but let me just show you really quick here. If we would have ended up 9 for 12, that's 9 times we made 70 bucks which would have been plus 630, right? Three times out of 12, we would have lost. We would have won 75%. We would have lost 25% of the time. Okay, that's what probability says. We said that's what was going to happen with probability, right? So we won 630. We lost 220 three times, which is 660, guys. We lost 660, but we only made 630, so we ended up losing 30 bucks. In the negative, negative 30 if you play at probability. Over the long term, we know probability will catch up to us. If you stayed in Las Vegas a whole month, played dice four hours a day for a whole month, you'd be pretty damn close to that 75% number. And guess what? They're going to eat you for $10 every four series. Every four series, they're going to take $10 from you. That's what probability says. Unless you're going to shoot in the 80%, you're not going to turn a profit. Okay? Woo! I know it's a little more mathematical today. I just, it's kind of more my style. I do all this in my head all the time. I don't really talk about it, but I, I do this in my head. Now you guys kind of know how I'm thinking when I'm playing. All right, folks. Appreciate everybody watching my videos. Hey, remember, let the seven work for you. Stop trying to beat the dang seven. Stay safe, my friends. Have a great day.